Hello everyone and welcome. In this segment, we're going to focus on how to extend your Microsoft Teams apps to Microsoft 365 and Outlook mobile apps. My name is Gary Trinder. I'm a cloud developer at Microsoft focusing on Microsoft 365. I have with me today three guests, Alicia Liu, Product Manager 2 for Microsoft Teams platform, Matthew McFadden, Senior Product Manager for Outlook, and Sheena Macker, Senior Product Manager for Microsoft 365 app. Hi, everyone, and thank you for being with us today. So today, Microsoft 365 developers can build apps for Microsoft Teams and have them show up across desktop, web, and mobile. So what new possibilities uh, have been enabled for developers? Thanks, Gary. So this is a very significant milestone in enabling developers to write their Teams application once and make it available across M365 on multiple platforms with very little code change. So our ultimate vision is to significantly defragment the developer experience of building and distributing apps across M365 and Microsoft. It's going to be a virtuous cycle that will then enable app developers and users to engage with apps in a consistent manner across the ecosystem. And what's exciting is that the mobile experience now plays a huge role in our everyday lives. Enabling apps to not only be available on web and desktop, but also mobile, will allow app developers to reach a whole new set of users who leverage the Microsoft application suite and experience differently at work and in life. Frontline workers, students and employees at brick and mortar stores are all examples of users who heavily use mobile applications to help get their jobs done. App developers will now be able to make their Teams apps available on M365 Mobile and Outlook Mobile. Oh, fantastic. Uh, well, can you tell me about what mobile platforms will be supported? Definitely. So we'll be releasing iOS support to customers in a preview for Outlook, as well as the M365 app. To be part of the preview ring, customers can download the test flight app from Apple and install the test flight version of Outlook and M365 app. And for Android, M365 app and Outlook are generally available now. Great. So I'm assuming organizations can use these new features uh, to surface their line of business applications. Yes. So tenant admins and IT admins can allow apps for their company on mobile in the same way that they would on desktop. So apps will be acquired by the user or by an admin on behalf of a tenant, group, or user, which really simplifies the app discovery process for end users. And updating to Teams JS SDK version 2 is frictionless in that we have ensured that developers can expect to see their in-market Teams apps running as is and continue to receive production level support in Teams. We'll also be moving to a much faster release cycle and you can expect to see monthly releases in the near future. And so for app developers, by updating their SDK reference to version 2, um, they can rest assured that they will have access to the latest and greatest features that the SDK supports. Oh, that's great. So I don't have to rewrite my whole application. I can just you know, upgrade the SDK, tweak a few things, and, and that's it. I can surface my app. That's, that's fantastic. I, I really like that. Uh, that I don't have to build multiple apps. So uh, thanks. That's a great update. Um, but let's move on and uh, let's talk about uh, the mobile apps where your Teams apps can, can now show up. So first, let's talk about Outlook. Um, Matthew, can you tell us uh, you know, what changes have been made to, to Outlook and, and what this means for existing Outlook users? Thanks, Gary. Yes. In preparation for these Teams apps, um, we've reorganized Outlook to make it easier to access all the content you have. You may have already noticed some of these changes. The search button at the bottom of the screen has been renamed to feed. In addition, we've moved contacts and files out of search and into this tab bar at the bottom. You can click apps to see this, as well as any of these teams as you've installed. In this case, we've added Power BI. You can open Power BI or any of your installed teen apps um, right from that drawer. In addition, if you find you use this often, you're free to reorder your apps and pin the ones you use the most at the bottom of the screen. So maybe you don't use Calendar and you like to use Contacts and Power BI. You'll see them now right at the bottom of your screen. 
Fantastic. Uh, I love the, the updates they've made. It makes it really easy to just kind of, you know, get into Power BI very, very quickly, check your emails, check your reports, all from the same application. That's, that's fantastic. Um, and we talked about Microsoft 365 app. Uh, so let's talk about that now. Sheena, tell us a little bit more about the, uh, the Microsoft 365 app. Sure. Thanks, Gary. Quickly going to uh, what Microsoft 365 app is all about. So if you talk about Microsoft 365 app, which was previously known as the Office app, it is the everyday productivity app that enables you to create, edit, scan, and share content on the go on phones and tablets. The Microsoft 365 app lets you access not just Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but also PDFs, images, notes, forms, videos, and a lot more. With intelligent cloud service and trusted security, the Microsoft 365 app can maximize your productivity in both work and life. That's a great thing that Microsoft 365 mobile app has over 100 million monthly active users, giving an opportunity to developers to reach mobile users without any additional technical investment. In case you haven't used the app, we have the QR codes here, which you can scan and download the app. To get started, you can run your app inside Microsoft 365 mobile app by installing it from the Teams app or Microsoft365.com. Let's see an example here where we'll be looking at the SurveyMonkey app. The app will be available inside Microsoft 365 app under the Apps tab. So as you can see that here, we're launching the app. You can also sideload your app via Teams and even remotely debug your app in the Microsoft 365 Android app. So as you can see, we can create forms and service inside Microsoft 365 app. So yeah, so I think we're looking forward to supporting the developer community in building exciting mobile first use cases using these capabilities. Thank you. Fantastic. No, thanks for sharing. Uh, it's great. Again, the use case of you know, whilst you're in the Microsoft 365 app, you're looking at your files as well, that you're able to, you know, take action maybe on the files, go into SurveyMonkey, create a survey directly from, from the app as well, and, you know, reducing the need to jump between different applications. So that's, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, so Finally, thank you to Alicia, Matthew, and Sheena for sharing, uh, you know, all these exciting updates with us today. If you see, as you've seen, um, you can extend uh, your Microsoft Teams apps to Microsoft 365 and Outlook Mobile on Android and support for iOS coming soon. So it's an exciting opportunity for developers to bring their apps to hundreds of millions of users who are already using these, uh, these apps. And to do that, it's just a simple change to update the Teams JavaScript uh, library as well to, to you know, make them appear on, on mobile. So if you want to learn more about how to bring Microsoft Teams apps to Microsoft 365 and Outlook Mobile and information on how to upgrade your apps, then check out the links below. Uh, and with that, thank you for watching.